out. There's a jungle out. There's a there's a there's a jungle out. Crying out loud. There's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We gonna come win playing it's the last thing on our mind Stop crime much if you really really wanna stop crime Be safe in your home, be safe in the street It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause summer's always beeping by the fence Still crime much came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's kid. a jungle out there and the hunt is on I jumped you down, we gonna hunt you down we gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe for your home Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Ian Allen, this is Crime Watch and we're back. Top of the evening to you, all those of you who are locked online, a special good evening to you, all those of you who are looking at me from all over the world, a special, special good evening to you. Well ladies and gentlemen, we're back, today is Friday 20th, and the 7th President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago was just sworn in. Yeah, so it's a lot happening today, it's a lot happening today. Want to take some calls, you know, it's just the freezer, the Friday before, you know, a great weekend. I hope, you know, things are going to be good with you. And, um... We saw some protests in the vicinity of the, just in fact, right opposite the Red House and whatnot. And I think we have saw a couple of shots with that. And also, just to let you know, a man was shot and killed. You know, just to let you know, remember yesterday we highlighted the grey aqua that was stolen in mid-centre. Strange enough, ladies and gentlemen, the aqua was found chopped up by a car dealer in the bamboo. Yeah, it was found chopped up. And what happened is that the owner of this car had a, a device in the car. So even though they try, even though they, they made sure the car had no no track, no 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 GPS track, no tracking device and whatnot, they had, they had something in the car. And the police went today and they found the car at a popular car dealer business place in in um, the bamboo. And imagine they had they had engines there where they, they took off the the, the 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 numbers and whatnot, yeah. But it's sad. It's really it's it's terrible. Let me tell you something. Anytime somebody could thief your car, anytime somebody could thief your car, ladies and gentlemen, that person can murder you. Eh? Anytime somebody could thief your car, because I was chatting with someone today, and I was just telling them. I said, so when somebody loses a car, I have seen cases where people lose their car and. You'll be surprised. And when we get there, it's like, you, you, you're thinking it's some big time car that was taken, some car for two or three hundred thousand dollars. At this time, it's a car for like 30,000, 40,000, 20,000. Everybody car is their Rolls Royce. Everybody car is their Mercedes. Yeah, everybody car is their Mercedes. And when somebody steals a car and whoever supports that, that trade is worse than the person who's stealing the car. Because you create a market for it. So just to let you know the gray, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going to come out of it because I think that um, the, the police, they spent a, a, a couple of hours at the business place in the bamboo there, but it is just distasteful. It is really, really distasteful. I'm very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. Disappointed. For, I mean, these people, you know, thief in a car is not a nice thing. Imagine you park your car, you work hard for your car. Yes. Do you know how many people, ladies and gentlemen, how many people taking taxi right now, paying for car, paying loan, paying a mortgage on a car and do not have the car because the car was stolen and the car might be fully comprehensive, but they have to get a piece of the car. They have to get a window, they have to get a door that corresponds with that vehicle that was stolen. And they can't get out, so the insurance can't give you nothing. They, they can't get a shell, they can't get nothing. So you paying for a car, there people pay. I know it have people, I know it have people in Trinidad and Tobago, certain persons taking taxi every day. Taking taxi, pay, pay, paying for a car, but they don't have the car, the car was stolen. And that is why, you know, I'm asking you again, you know, you have to, you have to do your best, you have to do your best. I don't think you're doing your best to really secure your vehicles. You have to do, do your best to secure your vehicle. Not just a tracking device. They have things where lo many years ago, I can remember, they had a, like a little valve. They said lock off the gas. Yeah, they said lock off the gas. I did it. Maybe if you, you know, you could come back with that and maybe put it under the dashboard or somewhere that if the car should be stolen, all you know, if the car is stolen, well then it could just drive from here. Maybe about 
a three minutes from me and that's it. They'll start a buck and by then, by then, you know, so if, so if they, you see, you always have to think ahead of the game. You always have to think ahead of the game. Think ahead. So now you have a club. I saw, I, I saw there are persons who have clubs. You know, they, yeah, clubs are back. The club that they put their body string, but they could cut the string and take it out. You understand? Or they could put a chain or something, a lock or something, by, by, by the gear lever. The, the other arm, nobody has something now. The I know persons that drill the, that, that drill the X cable and the brakes cable. You know about that? And they can put like a steel thing with a lock. Yeah, you can drill the... Years ago they used to do that. Years, years ago they used to do that. Where they drill the, the, the X cable the, or, or they weld on something like a plate onto the brakes. Right? And you put a lock on it. If you have to go that distance, you gotta go that you have to go that distance because you have going on. You have going on. To lose a car in this round, it's not easy. You know, your car is your hand and foot in So now you have a young girl working in the bank or working somewhere and she, you know, she paying up for a little car, a little small car, a little thirty thousand dollars and that's a big thing for her, you know. That is a real big thing for her. So it's it's something as well as car stealing thing. And that is why when police catch them, they should have no mercy. Anybody who could thief a car is a murderer boy. Who can watch a person paying for a car? Because when you, see, when you see you lose your car, I have seen people get sick and sick, fall down on the ground and start to roll. Start to roll like somebody beat them up. Yeah. Mr. Allen, like, what are you going to do? I don't want no car. I don't want no car. Send them in a depression. They, 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 they stay away from their jobs for weeks, for weeks and weeks and weeks because they lost their car. Yeah. So, I mean, we, you, 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 you really have to do, you really have to do you know, do, do, do what you have to do to secure your car because what they're doing all the thiefing car for parts, they're thiefing on the two sons, they're thiefing a lot of cars for parts, just for the parts because you'd be surprised, you know, how, how I can buy an engine from a vehicle and I know that car is a stolen car. How people can do that? How people can do that? Many, many years ago, I can remember some people was fighting on the road in Cuba and they boy some rile r- 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 up thing. So I stopped by talking to him as if I could just say, I know the fella and thing, yeah? And two of them back and and scramble up and thing, but the fella phone drop out, boy. It drop out. So after, but it's to get dark and I say, well, I going up the road, come by me and thing, and he say, boy, I can't find my phone, boy. I say, serious, boy? He say, hmm, I know what to do, boy. So he gave me the number and thing. But next, sometime the next day, it, rain didn't fall. I just, Passing and I just dialed the number. Boy, you see the bush light up. And those days was a, a, a Motorola Startac, a Startac phone. The ones you used to put on your, your waist and it's so open. But that's a real expensive phone, huh? Yeah, now. Nah. And that day, it didn't have a Jeep, you know, no, no, nothing to track and thing. It didn't have nothing to track that phone. Buy the phone and carry back for the man. And because I just, it's how people, I, it's, yeah, nah. it's how you wire up and it's how it all goes back, how you wire up. It tell people why up to run back and all. It tell why up people why up the thief thing. If I, I tell you this, I tell you this. I can stand before heaven. No, I can't stand before God and, and, ask, and say all kind of thing. Eh? Because, uh, yeah, I really can't do that. But certain things I can do because I know, well, if you ask me, well, well, I don't know. But certain things, but you see, like stealing things and things, like finding people's wallet and things. And taking two on no 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 I know me I know me I know me I wouldn't do that I would not do that I would not do that I would not do that but I tell you, I know people shut down with car and thing but just when I don't even know them and I call record for them and pay for it I say so you're going by me all I have that hundred dollars here me know why moving this car from me I gotta get a man to come with a rope and all kind of things I say but look at five hundred call a record and go up the road yeah I'm that kind of person me don't look back for that but I just showing you I'm just showing you. There are people wire. It's how you wire up. There are people wire up for back and There are people wire up for underhand things. There are people like underhand things. They like underhand They like people buying. You telling me, you telling me, I wear a gold chain and a band on my hand here. And that band belongs to someone? Because they were robbed? No. How I go wear that? I would not do that. How about a ring that I know it was taken from someone who take the time and pay for it and I take the ring or take the watch or something? Because people like to buy stolen things. You have no shame. You, you bring in a blight in your life. You bring in tears in your life. 
because it's gold chain. And if I melt it, melting it or not melting it, give it away. That does not belong to you. And sometimes people life are bl it blight because of them thing. It just blight because you like to buy teeth thing. You like to buy teeth rim, teeth engine, teeth door, teeth trunk, teeth windscreen. People like to buy teeth thing. Don't come in with no teeth thing in a partner. I call in the police. I tell you up front, I can't call in the police. People come in and check me. When do I, people now come and tell me? Man say, but look at my machine to sell, look at this to sell, I had that to sell, I'm a music system. They wouldn't come by me because then I will call the police immediately. I will call the police. But it's are people who like to do that, and that's why I do not do that. Yeah, I'm just telling you, do not do that. Don't run them kind of road. Don't run them kind of road. A man was shot and killed a cookery terrorist cookery on Thursday, 19th of January. Just to let you know, he has been identified as Christopher Blake, also known as Dread Mike of Waterhole Cookery. Around 11.30, residents of the area heard several loud explosions and notified the police. When officers arrived at the scene, they found Blake lying motionless on the steps of, the gallery, of a gallery, covered in gunshot injury. Blake was declared dead, dead at the scene of the, of the incident. Just to let you know that. Inspector Ram, Ramjatan, Acting Sergeant, Tellis Ford, Sergeant Adams, Homicide Region Officers, Sergeant Ribeiro, PC Lewis, WPC Fredericks, PC Cromwell, WPC Ella visited the scene of the incident and several 5.56 spen shells were found. You see, I like to give you who visited the scene and whatnot. You realize this is cookery. So you have Inspector Ramjatan, you're acting in Sergeant Tellis Ford, you have Sergeant Adams, you have Homicide or a region officer, Sergeant Romero, PC Lewis. These are the people who visited the scene, PC Cromwell and, and the crew. All right, so just to let you know, a man was shot in the Cockerit area. All right, he's been identified, identified as Christopher Blake, also known as Dread Mike. All right, so we're going again. A man was shot and wounded so the, yesterday. A man was shot and wounded in Antigua Road, Waller Field. On Thursday, the victim was identified as 25-year-old Jonathan Pengo, Penko, Penko, Pengo, right, Penko of Aruka. Reports that Penko was looking for some work at a property when four men approached and opened fire. Penko managed to escape alive, however, he sustained a gunshot injuries. So I just showing you some, some area shots of exactly where the incident took place. There's Antigua Road, Waller Field. You know, it about Antigua, it, it, there is a road in Trinidad named Antigua Road, and that is in Waller Field. So imagine a man, I tell a gunman thing all about the place, and a gunman thing, people lawless, and I'm still thinking about this car, this man lost him at Centre Mall, how the man get his car chop up, chop up, and a chop up by a business place, and in Bamboo, chop up, chop up, chop up. Door one side, drink, this one, this part one side. Who does that? Who does that? Who does that? Who steals? Yeah. Who does that? Yeah. Who does that? Who buys a stolen car? Who, who, who could buy somebody's stolen vehicle? Who, who could buy an engine? They have, and they have people there. And they have people there who say everybody doing it. You have no shame if you're doing that. Send out and because your van might wear an engine and you tell somebody, yeah, here we're going on now. Our engine. And I remember my two son vehicle here. Yeah. Well, it parked up now because it wants an engine. I don't use it. But as a car I had from since then, a van that carried a lot, a lot of persons in it criminals, people surrender, murder suspect, rapists, all kind of thing. Boy, that van, that PCT 2020, that car. And we were looking for a, a B4HA engine. B4HA engine. Never forget that. Riyadh mentioned to me, Pink Sock said that is the engine. Boy, and you know, it have men out there. When we started to look, it have men out there who will take a job of a... Fa no, that engine is about... I got, I got to raise it. I got to raise for the engine. But it have men who will take a job for 10,000 and go and get an engine for you. And you know that is a stolen engine. No? I will put that in my van. Not me, partner. I was tell you, I can open up that line. Nobody can call me Ian Allen a thief and a racket man. I always tell people that. Nobody can call me Ian Allen a thief and a racket man. What I have in my life is what I work hard for. You know. And what I pay for and what I pay for. You, know. you want to know my business? Go down for Citizen Bank. Talk to Balat Maraj. He's now the chairman of the, the Shogunas Corporation. Um, thing. Chairman of... Um, Chamber of Commerce, President of the Chamber, 
And they will tell you. But they won't divulge the information, but they will tell you. They will tell you, I have the best credit. <laughs> I have the best credit. I have the best credit. My credit, I have the best credit. I got to work hard and I pay for my thing. I don't run a racket. I don't sell no gun. I don't do nothing. I might lime. I might take a drink here. I might, you know, go, go a little thing here. But I have a straightforward fella. I ain't buying no thief thing, boy. I ain't running no racket. I ain't taking nobody money. I ain't taking nobody money to cover no store. One time people come with that time, a man come with, I remember I, I was working in town, a man come with a 60,000, boy. I remember that struggle days, yeah? <laughs> a 60 grand and throw it, so. I want you kill that story, boy. I want you kill that story. My son was involved in that. I say, partner, here what to do? Take back that money and carry it. I don't want no money. I got it. Let the police and them, you care about the police station, give them that, not me. I tell you now. I tell you now. So people, all the attitude and all the, the, the way you might think I'm wired up, I'm not like that. At all, at all, at all. I'm not like that. So I just like, you know, a man was robbing Antigua Road Waller Field. So if you know you're doing that, desist. Desist. Desist from buying stolen items. Desist from buying stolen vehicle. Desist from buying stolen engine. Because somebody will come back and thief your car just so. Now people crying in there, there's a young girl working, now get she little work. No, that, that, just remember that thief thing, that thief car from its center mall, really have my tizzik in it, tizzik, it tizzik, it have my tizzik, 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 tizzik. It have my tizzik, you know why? People work hard for the thing, boy. People work hard for the thing. Some of you might buy a cheap car like that. You understand? Because I mean, there are people who move up. You know, you move up, you buy something good. You buy where you, where you can afford. I buy what I can afford. Sometimes you buy something expensive too, but people like expensive things. I like expensive things, but I don't hang matter where I can't reach it. I don't hang matter where I can't reach it. I ain't taking loan to pay no carnival. Is that people take loan to pay carnival? You don't know that? But it's that people taking loan to pay carnival. Loan, I'm telling you, loan. Loan to pay for costume, $10,000. Checking all the tickets on them. When, when is this fit? When is that fit? When is this fit? And all, and plus the costume, plus the drinks that day, plus the car to carry us. But everything could come up to that 15000 And take a $15,000 loan, you know. You ever, you ever hear more madness than that? Have you ever heard more madness than that? That people like to live big life, don't live big life. If you cannot afford something, do without it. That people like to go to restaurant. That people when they go to the restaurant, they like to buy a big bottle of champagne. Big, big boy thing, big, you know? Champagne, Don Perignon thing, thing, big boy thing, and open up and that people like them kind of life. Me, of course I can afford it. And believe me, I can afford it. I can afford to fold the whole table with the wine, but I just, I just not me, I do them from a flams thing. I, if I like me, I might just say, well, let's give me some vodka and a little poor thing there. We good. <laughs> By the time you know, you know, a little vodka, a little water, half at the vodka, so on, every so all the time, so. Well, I, don't, I don't play big boy thing. Don't play big boy thing. Don't play big boy thing. No flams, no flams. That's like ranking thing, boy. They like to live big life, big life. They like, people like big life. And that's one of our problems in Trinidad. They like big life. Real big life. Don't do that. Don't do that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, remember this young girl? Kylie Meloni, well, right. Remember, one man was charged, right? One man was charged. This is the this is the man that was charged for the shooting. You know, it was second suspect has been detained in the murder of six-year-old Kylie Meloni, which happened at Blake Avenue Extension, Sandy Grandy, on Sunday. The latest suspect was arrested shortly after Meloni was laid to rest on Wednesday. I didn't want to say nothing. I didn't want to say nothing because I thought they would have, you know, they would have released him. I don't know him, but nevertheless. The latest suspect was arrested shortly after Maloney was laid to rest on Wednesday. You can see the funeral footage here. After a funeral service at a Quastrace Foster Road Sandy Grandy home on Tuesday, the 17th of January 2020. 25-year-old Aaron London appeared before Sandy Grandy Senior Magistrate Sharon Raphael charged with Kaylee's murder. London was remanded in custody. Kaylee's murder. London, London was re we have, we have a photo of the, we have a photo of the second suspect here because it didn't come out yet, but I'm just showing you. So he, well, our next person again, because remember, they were saying what the, when we had spoken to the mother, she said was a few, other, few people came in, four, four, three or four gunmen came and started a back shot, you know, big 5.56 shots, and one of them hit the girl in the chest, you know, 
I don't want to talk too much because remember the matter before the course so that I'll be subject to see or you give you know the matter that is a pre publicity trial if I should do that. So we like to play it by the books. I want to tell you I don't like Bacchanal. You know what was a good thing for everybody to do concerning the seventh president? And I will tell us something about the president when we come back. I want to tell us something about the president. And nobody, everybody really, really, and big commotion. Really, really, president, president, president. But no, nobody choose to explain to this nation the role of the president. And I will tell you, one role the president has, and that is a frightening role. That is a frightening, frightening role. A frightening role. One power the president has, and none only pick up on that yet. When I come back, I will tell you. When I come back, I will tell you and how politics, and uh, that is why somebody really has to be so independent with, with, in that, in that, with, with respect to that appointment. Because that appointment is a very, very powerful appointment. But one rule, one, one, listen to me, one rule that president can play that needs no advice from no, poli from no political party, whether opposition or government. And uh, they can do that all by themselves, all by all, just by being in the office of the president of the public. They can do one thing. And I'll tell you when we come back. Let's take a fast break. Marketing Company Limited and view our large stock of ready made wrought iron designs. Visit us at 44 Montrose Main Road, Chukwana, or call 235 4283 Gate or 235 4766 Iron. Want Ian Allen live at your business and seen on television? Then book your live now and promote your business the best way you can. Get one hour of ad free live broadcasting on television and all our platforms. Don't wait, spots are going quickly, so book now. Call 294 4081 225 4327 or 225 3250. Show Limited, the Caribbean's largest manufacturers of plain and printed paper bags, leaders in plastic bags, vermicelli, split piece powder, and greaseproof paper, ideal for doubles, french fries, and sandwiches. Supplying stores nationwide. For quality products, trust Chicle Show Limited, 665-3336. Here's another reason to advertise on Crime Watch. Over 45 million views on YouTube alone. In the last six years, an outstanding 40 million views for 2022. And on track to surpass that in 2023. In just the previous month, we have surpassed over 1 million views and close to 200,000 hours of watch time. Can you imagine the reach our YouTube platform will get you? Don't forget. Persons will also see your business every day by watching our live program on television, on our website, our iOS and Android applications, and of course, our Facebook page that boasts over 576,000 followers. Our packages are based on viewership so that your business can get the most exposure possible. Advertise where the people are watching. Advertise where it matters on Crime Watch. Autorec Japan Limited is having a massive clearance sale at our Chamfrey branch only. Everything must go. Starting Friday 13 January, while stocks last. Come into 1B Eastern Main Road Pitibook Chamfrey and get prices drastically slashed on door shelves, bumper, bonnets, trunk lids, head and tail lights, instrument panels, mirrors, shocks, and so much more. Check out our Bocal Road branch for new arrivals and parts. Give us a call for more information. Don't miss this. 
Introducing Berberine Plus by Aja Nutrition, a unique combination of all-natural super supplements Berberine, Bitter Melon, and Barnaba Leaf. Berberine Plus is clinically proven to provide diabetic support by decreasing insulin resistance, making the blood sugar-lowering hormone insulin more effective, increasing glycolysis, helping the body break down sugars inside cells, decreasing sugar production in the liver, slowing the breakdown of carbohydrates in the gut. Available in TNT pharmacies nationwide. Guess who's selling his vehicle? Ian Allen himself. Ride in style with a luxurious BMW M4 Sports. Low mileage and in top condition. For more information, call 294-4081. Sparkling, pouring, premium Moet and Chandon Champagne. Passage to Asia. Ultra all inclusive. Carnival Kisses. Sunday, 5th of February, 2023. St. Andrew's Golf Course. Mocha, Maraval. 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Lavish food court with over 30 dishes and desserts. Premier non stop entertainment from Cast the Band. Karma featuring Ramvi and Nisha B. I word George. Jaren. Tickets now $1,200. Passage to Asia. Ultra all inclusive. Carnival Kisses. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a 25-year-old Marlon Madu was charged with attempted murder of his ex-girlfriend allergy outside his Maloney Gardens Derby home on Tuesday. 18-year-old Atiana Richards of Maloney Gardens Derby remains in a stable condition after she was stabbed in the throat and back by her child father, 25-year-old Marlon Madu. So Marlon uh, Madu was charged. Mad, remember they said he has a history, but well, he was charged for attempted murder. Yeah, he was charged for attempted murder. Sick, yes, sick. Sick, that's what you have to know. Boy, you have to know who you're pursuing, yes? The, the, the incident happened around 11 o'clock, 11 a.m., while Richard with her two-year-old daughter. An argument ensued, which resulted in Madu pulling out a, blade, a black knife and stabbing Richard in her neck. Thank God this young girl alive, and thank God, you know? Thank God, thank God. Look at this nice girl. Thank God, this girl alive. Thank God. Thank God. But never, ne, ne, nevertheless, he will be charged. He's been charged for attempted murder. Attempted murder. And also, ladies and gentlemen, remember I told you yesterday I wanted to make, make, make mention to you. When somebody said there are a lot of police in the bamboo right now, a lot, a lot of police in the bamboo. It all started from that gray, that gray vehicle that was taken at Mid Center Mall, that aqua vehicle. We were tracking it up to last night. We were tracking the vehicle. And but today when I found out, in fact, I was at a funeral today. My, as I know, my, a, a relative of mine passed away and today was the funeral. My auntie, my father's sister. So we were there at the funeral. And we... They chucked the stolen vehicle there. Yeah. That is it. It's just terrible. It's just terrible. It's just terrible. I just disappointed. Just disappointed. Just disappointed. Who does that? Yeah, who does that? Who does that? Let me tell you something. I know. I have had I have had meetings with umpteen persons who have lost their vehicles and boy boy. People get depressed, they feel suicidal. You don't believe how people take on when they lose their car. Yeah, some of you could just buy back a car or maybe refinance and say, well, that's it now, get a car, that's nothing. But that people can't pick up enough. What, what might take persons, what might take you six months to buy, might take people six years enough. Always remember that, yeah? See, somebody might buy a, big, a living room set, you might go in some store and buy a dining room set or a living room set. But that people have to work day and night, two years to buy a dining room set, you know? yeah? Two years and you might walk in and buy a washing machine, a dryer, a dryer, a stove and walk out back. Boy, that is a big thing for them. They might have to get a job letter, they have to do this, they have to do that, they have a mortgage, they have to do all kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So when you take, take people think it's not a nice thing. It's not a, it's not a, not a nice thing at all, at all, at all. Let me just tell you about the massive story about about the two about two men. Two men were refused bail in the massive stores kidnapping. Two men were refused bail in the massive store. Remember when they when they attempted when they um, abducted the, the, the manager of the massive store, right? The accused are Chris Lala of Dow Village, California, 
Chris Lala of Dow Village, California. What? Chris Lala of Dow Village, California, and Emmanuel John, a.k.a. John Wick, a.k.a. Isaiah Thomas of number three, Purple Heart Avenue, Rystonia. So two persons, two persons in a massive store kidnapping were refused bail. Chris Lala of number five, Dow Village, California, and Emmanuel John, a.k.a. John Wick, a.k.a. Isaiah Thomas of number three, Purple Heart Avenue, Rystonia, Coover. ASP Ghoul, under the supervision of Senior Superintendent Smith, right? Under the supervision of that ASP Ghoul, under the supervision of Senior Superintendent Smith, and with the assistance of ASP Jai Karan and Inspector Philip and Sergeant T. Locke, continuing inquiries uh, re relative to report of robbery, aggravation, and kidnapping and charge. Emmanuel John and Chris Lala jointly with two counts of rob jointly with two counts of robbery and violence, one count of kidnapping. They both appeared before the San Fernando First Court Magistrate on Friday, the 13th of January, and were refused bail and remanded into custody. John was additionally charged with five counts of shooting with intent at the police, possession of firearm, possession of ammunition, possession of firearm to endanger life and possession of ammunition to endanger life. John was, also, John was also charged with the June 20th, 2022 murder of Jaffet Williams, which, ha which happened in broad daylight at Yellowy Street, California. Remember, so he was charged for murder also. Homicide detectives have obtained a warrant at the Coover Magistrate Court to execute on Wick while at the Golden Grove Prison after the information with which ch charge with him with Williams' murder was laid at the courthouse. Just to let you know that, right? Now, let me give you the facts. I want to give you the facts. The facts are... Now, I, I, I'm going to tell you all about the max, the, the massive stores, yeah? I have, I, I have the report in my hand here. I'm going to tell you all about the massive stores, okay? It all happened around 9.45 p.m. on Friday, the 6th of January, 2023, the 40 year old victim and assistant manager locked and secured Massey stores located at Bamboo Roundabout, Laramine, and left in her vehicle PDA 5521 a Silver Nissan Tida hatchback. The woman, while proceeding along the Sir Solomon Hocha Highway Gasparillo in the vicinity of Petrochin Pond, observed a white SUV make, model, and registration number unknown with blue flashing lights proceeding closely behind a vehicle. This caused her to pull on the shoulder, following which three suspects exited the vehicle, exited the white SUV, all dressed in dark colored clothing, wearing bulletproof vests with the marking police written in front and the black ski mask covering their faces. Further description unknown and all armed with firearms. They told her that they knew her name, which they said to her, and then ordered her to sit in the back seat of the vehicle, following which all three suspects entered her vehicle and carried her against her will to Massey stores in Laramie. She was instructed to open the door to the establishment and went to the area of the safe and forced, and they forced her to open the set safe and stole an undisclosed sum of money following which they made their escape in the victim vehicle. The victim made a report to the police and all points bulletin was sent by Southern Operations Center which resulted in a coordinated effort by several units within the Southern Division, together with the acting corporal Ram Baran and a party of officers from the Port of Spain Division Task Force, who on exercise in the Southern Division, intercepted the woman's stolen vehicle, that's the, the, that's the PDA 5521 Silver Nissan Tida Hatchback. They intercepted the, the vehicle along the the cross-crossing interchange in San Fernando, where there was an exchange of gunfire. One of the, the suspects, later identified as 23-year-old Emrit Ramesa, was shot about the body. Remember, he died, right? Emrit Ramesa. Emrit Ramesa was shot about the body from Derrick Road. He was... Right? That is the same one who cost up his mother, right? Ramisa was declared dead 
at the San Fernando General Hospital. Eighteen spent nine millimeter shell casing and a bulletproof vest with police marking a purse the which the victim later identified as her at hers as as hers together with a cell phone and some of 15,400 was found in the said vehicle and seized. Acting Sergeant Singh and a party of officers from La Rebain Police Post while conducting searches in the area for the other suspect arrested Chris Lala. That's why I'm just telling you how everybody got involved. They arrested Chris Lala of number 5 Dow Village who was the driver of the vehicle of vehicle PBM 5352 a white Nissan B14 along Rodriguez Avenue to Perry Road, San Fernando. Emmanuel John, a.k.a. John Wick, of number three, Purple Art Avenue, Roystonia, Coover, was held walking along Superior Road by police. Visiting the scene was, see, was Senior Superintendent Smith, Senior Superintendent Ramke Lawan, Superintendent Pariman, ASP Jaikaran, Inspector Philip, Inspector Mohammed, and Sergeant Bisnat. Okay? But remember, as I... I told you yesterday, that same emerald boy that cost up his mother, you know. Yeah, that same fella, that same emerald boy, right, who was shot dead on that same Friday, right? His mother, Natasha Craig, said, I told him, this is what his mother said, I told him Friday morning to come out of my house and he cussed me up. And, to, and when I told him that, he even told me not to look at him when I see him in the road. I will tell him, mother, the Friday, that Friday, he get killed. That was my last, the mother said that was the last interaction she had with him. When he came by me to live in Chase Village, after he came out of prison, he coming home all kind of hours. He was leaving and coming back. I saw him buying clothes. But he doesn't have a job. And he draws no pay. Which young man at, that, at, at his age, 23 years old, Right? Going from 10 in the morning and coming back until late after 10 p.m., 11 p.m., so even 2 a.m. the following morning and dressing up and blinging. So she knew fully well that something was wrong. She knew fully well that here what going on. He up to no good. When I saw him coming in those hours, I told him, here what going on. You have to get a place now. Me and a with that and I have an eight-year-old to think about. Ask what her, what her advice was to other parents through it of troublesome children. The, mo the mother said, Greg said, it was necessary for parents to set boundaries for their children and take action if they broke the law. Do not condone your child. Remember the mother, his, his, his mother saying, do not tolerate, do not a rebellious child. A child who wants to give trouble, put down your foot as a parent, don't let your children cuss it, that children will be cussing, mother this and effing this and all kind of thing. Put down your foot, put down your foot, put down your foot, put down your foot. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a fast break. This break is brought to you, Gable X, Car City Trading, European Day Spa, Beauty Clinic and Wellness Center, Varma Steel, SNS Passat Supermarket, CTS College of Business and Computer Science, Tire Clinic Truck Department. Let's take a fast break. What once was glass is now plastic. You get all the benefits of glass without the drawbacks. And only Gable X packaging will get you there. Plastic application works with all the existing capping methods, so the change is simple and seamless. You get visual clarity without the fragility, as well as less scuffing, scratching, and label tearing. We do PET. PET brings many advantages. You get durability and rigidity. It's more economical, durable, recyclable, and beautiful. Our purpose is to help you profit from what's inside the package. And the outside profits the plants. Get ahead of the competition today. Contact Gable X Packaging Limited. 
Car City Trading is your number one source for high quality, new and used Korean auto parts. We are well stocked and carry a wide variety of engines, starters, compressors, alternators, power steering pumps, fans, sensors, head and tail lights, bumpers, grills, shocks, cradles, steering racks, and so much more. Let us help you improve your car's performance. Come on down to lot number 78, Bamboo Number 2. Call us to get a quote at 645-2603 or WhatsApp at 704-2246. Automotive is what we do. Car City Trading, quality products, fantastic prices. Here's another reason to advertise on Crime Watch. Over 45 million views on YouTube alone. In the last six years, an outstanding 14 million views for 2022 and on track to surpass that in 2023. In just the previous month, we have surpassed over 1 million views and close to 200,000 hours of watch time. Can you imagine the reach our YouTube platform will get you? Don't forget, persons will also see your business every day by watching our live program on television, on our website, our iOS and Android applications, and of course, our Facebook page that boasts over 576,000 followers. Our packages are based on viewership so that your business can get the most exposure possible. Advertise where the people are watching. Advertise where it matters on Crime Watch. Are you embarrassed by excessive hair loss, itchy flaky scalp, receding hairline, teenage and adult cystic acne, open pores, old scar marks, puffy dark eye circles, age spots, black lips, psoriasis, eczema or dermatitis? Do you want to get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, stretch marks, cellulite and discoloration around the neck, arms and between the legs? For a professional consultation and a microscopic analysis with Ms. Bagan, who has over 30 years of experience, call 673-7418 now. In construction, time is money. Get your roofing materials at the number one supplier, Varma Steel. Shop today, collect upon purchase or have it delivered within 24 hours. 28 gauge pre-painted roofing sheets, $27 per foot. 26 gauge pre-painted roofing sheets, $36 per foot. Get purlin, steel beads, high grade roofing sheets, chain link wire, decking pan and much more at Varma Steel. Order, pay, collect and go. It's that quick and easy. Visit, call or WhatsApp today. Guess who's selling his vehicle? Ian Allen himself. Ride in style with a luxurious BMW M4 Sports. Low mileage and in top condition. For more information, call 294-4081. The launch of Bagan and Bargains kicks off at SNS Passage Supermarket. Get everything you need for the road at an unbeatable price. Get green butterfly milk, three for twenty dollars. Nestle orange one liter, two for twenty five dollars. Maybell's ketchup, seven fifty ml, three for twenty dollars. Blue band margarine butter, two for twenty dollars. Cold two liter, three for twenty dollars. SNS paper towel, three for twenty dollars. SNS brown sugar, two pounds, two for twenty dollars. SNS bathroom tissue, twelve pack, twenty dollars, and much more. Shop and win. All inclusive pet tickets when you. Spend three hundred dollars and over, or get the chance to win two Tuesday on the rocks tickets for you and a friend. Win one of six coolers filled with drinks for the road. Spend three hundred dollars and over to enter. Number nine to one High Street Rio Claro, twenty four Saint Anne's Mayaro, and number three Guaya Guayari Main Road Mayaro. SNS Passage Supermarket. Simply better shopping. Are you dissatisfied with your child's SEA placement or CXC results? Get better grades at CTS College Private Secondary School. You can manage your child's workload by selecting the number of subjects they study each year. Benefit from outstanding student support, live interactive online classes, recorded sessions and dedicated teachers. Ideal for students entering forms 1 to 5, repeaters and mature students. Registration is ongoing. Visit us online at ctscollege.com for more details. Now opened at our Montrose Shogunas brand. Tire Clinic's Truck Tire Department with a faster tire changer, the largest service bay to facilitate all your heavy equipment needs. We carry tires for cars, motorcycles, or get your alignment done all at one spot. Call or visit us today. You know, ladies and gentlemen, before we left, before I jump, I don't want to add, you know, I'll just jump in a little bit. A guy called Richard Mitchell is to a check to one of my advertisers. On July the 18th, 2022. I'm trying to reach him. All right, apparently, check. You know, I don't know what's going on with the check, but they've been trying to reach this guy. Anybody know this guy? 
Richard Mitchell. We're trying to reach Richard Mitchell. Anybody know where we could get Richard Mitchell from? And look at the writing that check. Who's that? Somebody from ABC right at our. Who's that? That's like a fat line and a small line. A thin line. Look at that. You can see that person in our customer check. All right, so where we could find this person? Richard Mitchell. Richard Mitchell, we're trying to reach you. Okay, Richard Mitchell, we're trying to reach you. Make sure and answer your phone. God pass in. All right? A supervisor was robbed and kidnapped at SNN Minimart in Joe Country's Carapo on Thursday. Around mid midday yesterday, a 40 year old supervisor of a marketing company was in the company of his co worker exiting the Minimart when they were accosted by two men. The men announced a robbery, relieving the victim of his car, cell phone, and a black Corolla registered PCK 975. The sales supervisor was then forced into the Mazda 3 motor car and subsequently dropped him off at Piaco Old Road. Also, $1 million worth of drugs and two firearms were found and seized in a Grand Slam operation near the Mongo Savannah and Community Center on Thursday. Officers of North Central Division were conducting exercise when they found one Glock 26 pistol, 16 live rounds of 9mm ammunition, and 18 packets of marijuana weighing 15 kg, which, was, which has an estimated value of over $1,238,512. During the exercise, a 22-year-old man of Dainsley Village, Takariga, was also held with one live round of 9mm ammunition and 159 grams of marijuana. While a 23-year-old while a 23-year-old of 6th Drive, Mongdor Chamflair, was held with 536 grams of marijuana. The exercise was spearheaded by Inspector Wayne Meister, uh, sorry, ACP Wayne Meister. Put up a picture of my partner there. All right? He's doing well. He seemed to be here. He's doing well. He's now the ACP. Acting ACP. Wayne Meister. And also Senior Superintendent Ramphal. Coordinated by Superintendent Powder. And ASP Ramharak. And Inspector Dorupon Hailey. Dermont Hailey and supervised by Sergeant Lapierre, Lapierre with Corporal Ford and Gooding and members of the North Central Division Task Force. Pray, boy. I need to tell you, I need to tell you, just to let you know, Christine Kangaloo was officially appointed as the seventh president of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago at the meeting of the Electoral College on Friday, 20, 20th of January. Kangaloo won by a vote of 48, with contender Israel Khan receiving 22 votes, with three of the ballots being rejected. That is strange, eh? That is very, very strange. Let's show up your pictures and videos, please. Go ahead. Honorable members, Section 31 1 of the Constitution provides that a candidate who is unopposed or who has obtained the greatest number of the votes cast shall be declared elected. Accordingly, I hereby declare that Ms. Christine Carla Kangaloo has obtained the greater number of votes cast. and as such is elected as the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. This shall be for a five-year term as set out in Section 33.1 of the Constitution. Honorable members, an instrument duly signed and sealed by me as speaker, certifying the election of Ms. Christine Carla Kangaloo as president 
in consequence of the ballot shall be issued to Ms. Christine Carla Kangaloo, President-elect. Pursuant to section 32.1b of the Constitution. The Constitution further provides in section 37.1 that a president shall before entering upon the duties of his office take and subscribe the oath of office set out in the first schedule, such oath being administered by the Chief Justice or such other judge as may be designated by the Chief Justice. On behalf of the members of the, this electoral college, I take the opportunity to extend congratulations to Ms. Christine Carla Kangaloo on her election to the esteemed office of President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. We wish her a successful term. To the outgoing president, Her Excellency Paula May Weeks, ORTT, I thank her for her service to Trinidad and Tobago and convey very best wishes to Her Excellency. May Her Excellency enjoy good health, long life, and God's richest blessing. I now invite the coordinator of the independence to make remarks on the occasion of the election of the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you, Madam Chair. Good afternoon, colleagues. How long are you running for? <clears throat> it is my distinct honor to bring congratulations on behalf of the members of the independent bench to President-elect Christine Carla Kangaloo in being elected by this electoral college to the post of President and Commander in of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. President-elect Christine Carla Kangaloo's display of dignity, respect, temperance, patience and compassion during her tenure as President of the Senate. These attributes will no doubt be brought to bear in her service to Trinidad Tobago as Head of State. We again congratulate President-elect Christine Kangaloo and wish her all the best for a successful tenure as President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. I also would like to convey our deepest appreciation, gratitude and thanks to Her Excellency Paula May Weeks, ORTT, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, for her service and sacrifice to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. We wish Her Excellency and her family all the best for peace, safety, prosperity, and happiness in the future. Thank you, Madam Chair. I shall now invite the Leader of the Opposition to make remarks on the occasion of the election of Ms. Christine Carla Kangaloo as President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Once it's not more than five minutes, you can make it there. Ms. Much I join with my colleagues in um, taking note of this uh, electoral process, and I serve notice that the Opposition would hold that office to scrutiny in the best interests of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you. I now invite the Prime Minister to make remarks. To the
Madam Speaker, it is with pleasure that I stand to acknowledge on behalf of my constituents, my colleagues, all in this Electoral College, that we in Trinidad and Tobago can say without fear of contradiction that our well-written constitution has functioned since this Madam Speaker, we were called to duty under the provisions of the, re the relevant sections of our Constitution to elect a head of state. And today we did so smoothly, dutifully, and I guess so. <laughs> Madam Speaker, public service is honorable. And it's in that vein that I today would like to congratulate citizens, both who put their names forward to be considered for this post of President of Trinidad and Tobago. It was an electoral process, and Madam Speaker, we can still be proud, not knowing of a better way to do it. And out of that process, Madam Speaker, this chamber, by clear majority, has chosen a distinguished daughter of Trinidad. I would like to ask all citizens to acknowledge this plus in the scorecard of Trinidad and Tobago because there are many others who are bigger than us, taller than us, wider than us, who have great difficulty in being able to carry out such a process so smoothly and so successfully. So on behalf of all of us, people of Trinidad and Tobago, who have just elected a president as our head of state, let us go forward thinking positively. Whatever religion, race, color, creed, class, or geographical location, accept what has been bequeathed to us, the provisions and protections of our constitution, going outward and upward with boundless faith in our destiny. I would like to congratulate Mrs. Christine Kangaloo and to thank her family for presenting her to the nation to provide the service that she would provide. Madam Speaker, I am not one of those politicians and parliamentarians who believe that because the, the adjective politics, politician, the noun, can be ascribed to you, that it is demeaning. I think it is honorable, Madam Speaker. And today, this House has conducted itself honorably. And may, this, may the President serve all of us without fear or favor, without malice or ill will, for the benefit of all the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Madam Speaker, I thank you. <laughs> Member for Ruka Maloney. Thank you very kindly, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I beg to move that the Electoral College be now adjourned sine die. Now you understand now that we have the uh, Christine Kanglu as the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. We wish her all the best. And as the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. So we're going to take a fast break, and um, when we come back, we will continue to take some calls and whatnot. This break is brought to you courtesy Domus Windows and Doors, Autorec Japan, a website company.com, uh, Passage Asia Ultra Inclusive, uh, Civic Interiors, and Neo Eyewear. Go ahead. Doma Security Laminated Glass actually reduces sound significantly. When you invest in Doma's windows and doors, you invest in a product that's going to last you a lifetime and it's backed by our 20-year warranty, which makes all of this worth it. Autorec Japan Limited is having a massive clearance sale at our Chamfret branch only. Everything must go. Starting Friday 13 January, 
Wild Stocks Last. Come into 1B Eastern Main Road, Pittsburgh, Champlain, and get prices drastically slashed on door shelves, bumpers, bonnets, trunk lids, head and tail lights, instrument panels, mirrors, shocks, and so much more. Check out our Bocal Road branch for new arrivals and parts. Give us a call for more information. Don't miss this. Do you want Ian Allen live at your business and seen on television? Then book your live now and promote your business the best way you can. Get one hour of ad-free live broadcasting on television and all our platforms. Don't wait. Spots are going quickly, so book now. Call 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Present your business professionally by calling a WebsiteCompany.com. We'll create a website to expand and digitize your business, sell products, receive orders, and accept payments. Convert visitors into customers. Prices start as low as $3,500. No monthly or annual fees. Here's another reason to advertise on Crime Watch. Over 45 million views on YouTube alone. In the last six years, an outstanding 40 million views for 2022. And on track to surpass that in 2023 in just the previous month we have surpassed over 1 million views and close to 200,000 hours of watch time can you imagine the reach our youtube platform will get you don't forget persons will also see your business every day by watching our live program on television on our website our ios and android applications and of course our facebook page that boasts over 576,000 followers. Our packages are based on viewership so that your business can get the most exposure possible. Advertise where the people are watching. Advertise where it matters on Crime Watch. Passage to Asia. Ultra all inclusive. Carnival kisses. Sunday, 5th February 2023. St. Andrew's Golf Course. Mocha Marada. Get your tickets at Passage to Asia. Wings to Napuna. Extra Food. Riverline Price Plaza. MS Food City Day Day. West Beach. Diego Martin. Richards. West Mall. Dave Sebalak Hardware Pinal. S. Super Sad Hardware Marabella. Brand Tech Londonville. Lazy Lizard Rodney Road. Call 672 2701 742 4309. 685 8697 and 465 7322. Passage to Asia. Carnival kisses. Bring the style and durability of wood-finished SPC flooring to any room with Civic Interiors. Get 6mm SPC flooring with pad for $19.99 per square foot. SPC is waterproof, scratch-resistant, with easy-click, no-mess installation. Perfect for any residential or commercial project. We have a variety of colors to choose from. Come in or give us a call. Civic Interiors, taking flooring to another level. Guess who's selling his vehicle? Ian Allen himself. Ride in style with a luxurious BMW M4 Sports. Low mileage and in top condition. For more information, call 294-4081. Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West, and much more. Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1,300 frames to choose from. We are professionals in general construction, paving, asphalt services and preparation of residential and commercial developments. At Liqua Construction Services Limited, our team of professionals has the knowledge, experience and resources to make your projects run smoothly, on time, on budget. We supply red sand, gravel, oil sand and more. Equipment rental available. 20-ton excavators, mini excavators, porter cool, bulldozers, concrete pumps and so much more. Contact us today for a free site visit and quote. First five orders will receive a gift voucher from Raquel Muda or a Robert Graham polo shirt. Get delicious meals and cold drinks at Double R Restaurant and Bar. Enjoy local cuisine daily and our Saturday Riverline menu, Fireside Duck, Cascadoo, Goat Head, Lagoon Rice and more. Delivery available in the Shibonis area. Call us today for more info. So ladies and gentlemen, we are back as members of the parliament, as members of parliament, you remember you just saw the swearing, with respect to the, the, the electoral, co uh, electoral co college. Um, as members of parliament gathered at the electoral college, for the selection, 
of the new president of Trent Tobago, protesters gathered outside parliament in Port of Spain, chanting, Rowley must go, and no... That is, just, that is so distasteful, yeah? And I would even say that as the new president is here. Yeah. Go ahead. Start it over, please. Did you start it over? Remove the CG bar, please. Shot any camera. You know that that that's it that's the next clip? Put it up? Go ahead. You know, I look in at, I look in at the first video that they put up there. This woman has been elected the president of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. I might say from this point, I would not say it. I wouldn't say no to kangaroo, kangaroo, and, and nothing that. Uh -uh. I wouldn't say that. And my children watching, boy, we don't need... <laughs> there are some more things that, what they, what, you know what they should have done? Get somebody, like maybe... Uh, somebody who know the constitution well, like Hamid, Dr. Hamid Ghani, and let him explain the role of the president and how the said president, the role, you know what is frightening in this country? It's not a matter of people holding, holding a kangaroo. They had like some puppet thing there. You saw the video, watch. All that, watch me, that is just this. That is out of timing. And I wouldn't say kangaroo and kang. I would not, I, I don't care. The, 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 I might be, the president and I might, maybe she knows me. I spoke on time in the past already. But you know what is the best thing to do? Get somebody who's versed in the constitution, very, very versed and very learned. Somebody like, like Dr. Hamid Ghani and explain to the people at Trent the bigger the role of the president. And the president has a role, and it, it is that is why, even being coming from a political party, a, a government, and having that kind of being so politically inclined, and then being president of the, uh, the Senate, and then resigning, and then becoming the president. You know, the one role the president can perform is a point a chief justice. You know that? And that's a very serious role, you know. That is a serious appointment. That's a serious appointment. And I sure you all didn't know that. I sure you all didn't know that. Instead of holding a kangaroo, somebody could have come out and talk and say, well, this is what the president can do. This is our concern. Because we think that, if we, you know, that we, are, we are scared if the, if the chief justice who's in charge of the judiciary here yeah, for justice, if you get arrested, if it, if it will have any political influence, if you support a political party, if you're a member of a party, all these things. And these are good, good issues to bring up. 
Not everything is a bacchanal. Yeah? Not everything is a bacchanal. And I know people might like me going down that road, but not everything is a bacchanal. Open up the lines. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hello? Hi, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Miss. Um, good night, Mr. Allen. Good night. Mr. Allen, it's not a matter who the picker. Eh? I have no problem in the end of the day, the PNM in charge. Right. But all I can tell the country, God help us. Because my good friend Maduro is my good friend, the Prime Minister partner, right? And if the country want to, and want to take up this mantle and, and they want to elect a president who was a former PNM MP, you understand? We cannot correct them because you know why? Ian e. Robinson was Minister Extraordinary. You understand? So two wrong can make a right. But in the end of the day... Times are different. In the end of Times the day, my different. friend, Times the PNM in charge, and, and we, we have, have seen... to take that for the next five years, and I'm only telling the people them that Rowley, Mr. Rowley itself, the Prime Minister, the controlling majority of the police service. But and if Christine Tangalu become the president, she controlling the armed forces. Not only, that, the no, no, not, not only that, you but imagine. So hold, hold, hold a second, sorry? caller. Hold a second. Go imagine ahead. the president. The, one of the one of the one of the single role of the president. You know, the president could appoint a chief justice. That the president does not need no advice from the government to do that. Right. Okay. But here, what here, here the other part. No. Here the other part. And I'm, you, you make a valid point there. Yeah. Here the other part. The prime minister, the president, take advice from the prime minister. You understand? You understand? What when you take advice from the prime minister to conduct business? Let me ask you, for argument's sake, that the the UNC gets into office, they will be handling that lady for the next three years. What will happen to this country, Mr. Allen? Thank what you. will happen to this country if the UNC get, become one uh, become prime minister in this country? Thank you. And let me tell you something, it could run a different way too. What about if, let's just say, what about if they remove Chief Justice Archie and maybe somebody put a good friend, a senior counsel, who's played golf with them? And imagine the president can do that without any advice from anybody. Rowley can't put the hand there. Kamala can't put the hand there. Nobody. That is her one, one power she has uh, and, and one role that she does not need no advice to do. And that is frightening because that means to say they could put who they want to control the judiciary and nobody's talking about that. She can put who she wants and that person controls the judiciary. So that is where it comes from when they had concerns about a political in the head being the head of state, that is what they should have been talking about. Because I'm sure you didn't even know that. So it's frightening for the, even the judicial system. I'm just saying, I don't know if people get justice, if let's just say persons from who might, something might happen with some, somebody from the, the opposition or somebody who does not share the same views as the, the current government. But who, the person who appoints the judges and, and the, 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 the magistrates and whatnot, the chief justice? You understand? And that is the role, that, and, that, and that is what the Christine Kangaloo can do, the new president. So instead of holding up a, a, a head of, a, a, head of a, a kangaroo and saying this one must go and kangaroo and whoever must go, that is saying nothing. Get some bright minds and sit down and have a panel and talk about that. And put some sense in people head around here. Not just back and all. There's a fire, ladies and gentlemen that left nine persons homeless after their home in Hibiscus Lane, Harmony Hall, Gasparilla was destroyed by fire on Thursday. Go ahead. The family of five adults and four children, ages three, eight, and nine, and 13 are seeking assistance after everything that they own were engulfed in flames. This took place at Harmony Hall, Gasparilla. Well, at around about 1.20, I get up, 
And I get up I really get up because I hear a banging song and like I hear a commotion outside, right? I didn't really know what was going on. So I really kind of jump up. When I jump up now and I come outside, I see a fire taking place in my mom's house, which was the house next door to mine, in the front room. When the fire started taking place, you know, all I do, I run back inside to see what I could grab up now, right? to see how much thing I could grab. When I, at the time I reach back outside, the fire done engaging the whole house already, right? When you do things, the reason why the fire do happen to is because we didn't have our electricity with you and we didn't really have no current at the time. So we end up like a candle. And like, you know like how the rain was falling, like it must be blow the candle and it must be fall and must be hit a curtain or anything clockwise and it, it catch a fire. Right, and well that really caused the blaze and it burned down the whole place. We lost everything basically. As really a family and nine we homeless right now because we nearly had no way to go with us staying my people. We always four four kids in the place, two boys, two girls. Right now my niece and all too, the first week of school, she breaks her foot, so she we now recently bought crutches about two days ago. That crutches are now get born up in the fire. We basically lost everything as you can see. We are nothing right now. Any kind of help we can get is greatly appreciated. It don't have to be Monetary, it could be like material, grocery, clothes, especially the school thing for the kids mm -hmm. to go to school. That is greatly appreciated because you know the kids are the future. Mm -hmm. And but any kind of help, it, as I say, do have to be monetary, material, grocery, clothes thing for the kids, especially the school clothes like the crutches. That would be a real greatly appreciated, especially for money, because right now it's real hard. We really have nothing at all. Any kind of assistance will really be greatly appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> so um so we're back so if you can help this family get in contact with me okay also a school girl is suffering from serious injuries after she was knocked down by a car in st augustine on wednesday the victim has been identified as Jamila, Ma as Jamila Martin. Reports are around 9.30 a.m. Martin was walking along St. John Road in St. Augustine and she was knocked down by a Toyota Aqua motor car. Martin was taken out by where she's currently what is suffering from her three broken ribs. Hey boy. Anybody have a video we could see? Anybody have a, they, they got the Aqua? Tell me. Huh? Anybody, you know, we, we, that we could do anything. Also, an incident at Library Corner, at Library Corner in San Fernando, between police and a man resulted in the officer uh, tasing the suspect who seemed unaffected by the electric shock as he continued walking away from the officers. Look at this. Them the tears, are they, we? We're hitting them the tears, are they? And he f***ing walking, we? I'm walking with that tears, I shot my with the f***ing, mate. Hit them the tears, are they, we? We're hitting them the tears, are they? And he f***ing walking, we? I'm walking with that tears, I shot my with the f***ing, mate. You bad, mate? Also, ladies and gentlemen, 84 year old Helen Humphrey, 84 year old Helen Humphrey, the wife of John Humphrey, former government minister, passed away after suffering from cardiac arrest at their home on Wednesday, the 18th of January. Helen was, a, as, was also credited as a woman who brought down the Down syndrome out of the darkness and into acceptance through the association. She founded it, so they said that um, former government minister, um, John Humphrey, accept our sympathy. He lost his wife, Helen Humphrey. So sad, so sad, so sad. After till after one is two, you know. After one is two. After one is two. 
So also, ladies and gentlemen, two persons narrowly escaped death after their vehicle, their vehicle burst into flames on Wednesday, the 18th of January. They were identified as 40-year-old Michael Morgan of Upper St. Francois Valley Road, Belmont, and 22-year-old Ariel James of Old Road Mover. Around 5 a.m., Morgan, Morgan was driving his Mr. Bishim Mirage along the Solomon Hucho Highway when the vehicle skid near the Gasparilla overpass, crashing into several iron posts of the, on, on the barrier and bursting into flames. Thank God, they, you know, they survive. <coughs> Thank God, they survive. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time now. You have a wonderful weekend. Remember, WhatsApp me on 294-4081. A lot of advertisers are going to be back with us. Just in a couple people are doing their ads and, you know, getting everything ready. So, again, <coughs> excuse, make sure WhatsApp me on 2944081. Let me know what's happening. You're going to see stuff being posted. If you have information and news, you're going to see stuff being posted on the 294, um, posted online, just to let you know. And um, also, Ian Allen Network on YouTube, Ian Allen Network on Facebook. Okay? And again, if you have any information about any crime, drugs, guns, if you know people persons are bringing contrabands and shipping illegal stuff to our, to our nation, you can go to ianallen.org, send us the information anonymously. And even locally, if you have crime, remember we had to fix this place, we had to fix this place. It's not about Bacchanal. So as I tell you every day, it's not about Bacchanal. Bacchanal is not selling. We need to educate the people. We need to tell them, show them their rights. It's not about just chanting and this and that. So, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful night. I'll be back on Monday. Let's see what's going to happen over the weekend. But we're going to be up and running. I'm going to be up and running over the weekend. Have our camera crews, uh, crew out there. And we're going to be out there. So, if you have any information, anything you want to share, you have any information with respect to guns and drugs and whatnot, let me know. Good night. Yo, this is